So I got this question quite a few times now. This isn't going to be a very long video because it just won't take that long to explain. But the question I want to answer is which Helium 10 plan should you buy? Which one do you need? What are the essential tools? What tools do you want? What tools do you maybe not really need? So let's dive into that. All right, so I'm just here on the home page of Helium 10. Feel free to poke around if you want to read some more about it. I'm not going to go through a ton. I'm just going to jump here to the pricing plan and first okay so they've got the free plan platinum diamond and elite uh, if you I mean grab grab the free plan if you just want to try some stuff out but I think you know by the end of this you'll see that ultimately you just want to grab the platinum plan uh, it's just it's totally worth it so uh, but the, the free plan is great because it does allow you to poke around and use the tools to see how they work see if you like them and again, that's free. All you just all you have to do is just sign up. So if we scroll down here, we get their comparison chart, and you'll see on the left here they've got all different kinds of tools, right? Like a bunch. And this is the this is the cool thing about Helium 10. I've said this in some of my other videos, but I used to use Jungle Scout and was pretty set on Jungle Scout being the best. But I started seeing Helium 10 come around, and then I finally started poking around at what their stuff is, and then I just quickly realized oh they they're doing they've got better tools for better prices and so I, I switched for a little bit I was using some helium 10 tools some jungle scout tools but it just I ended up because it was the smart better move just using all helium 10 and completely ditching ditching jungle scout which I frankly probably should have done sooner than I did but I just was attached to jungle scout because that's the first one that's the first tool I used and I, I liked it it worked but and I, you know, I kind of thought, oh, maybe I don't need more than this. But once I figured out he, what Helium 10 was doing, especially with Cerebro, uh, which is a tool I'll talk about here, I was like, I gotta, I gotta just use all Helium 10 stuff. And what's cool about it is they cover the full spectrum. I think Jungle Scout is a little bit more for a beginner, uh, and Helium 10 is for a beginner, but will take you all the way up through a bunch of different expert levels as well so we talked about the free plan there's the a la carte plan which allows you to grab certain tools um, just you know whichever ones you think you need you can pay for them individually but I'm gonna break down right now which tools I use and I think are essential for any Amazon seller to be using and as I do that you're gonna quickly see that it just makes sense to grab the platinum plan because um, to grab the essential tools, you're already really close, if not over that price point, uh, if you buy a la carte. So platinum plan is what I'm gonna be pointing you to. Maybe diamond, depending on how much you're selling, and then if you're really, really selling crazy amount, then elite plan, but we'll get there. Um, so the tools that I think are absolutely necessary, number one, you need the Chrome extension so that you can run data on Amazon product pages and read the data straight off of Amazon. Uh, you know that's going to be your equivalent to the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Uh, for Helium 10, they call it X-Ray, which is this right here, Helium 10 X-Ray Product Research Tool. Uh, with the free sign up, it'll give you 50. You'll be able to use it 50 times. If you want to buy a la carte, it's 17. If you buy the Platinum plan, it's included with unlimited uses. The next thing I'm going to say you're definitely going to need. And maybe this isn't in any particular order, but you're going to need the follow-up email automation tool. And the reason for this is because you need to get reviews. Reviews are a huge factor in driving sales and in beating out your competition. So you absolutely want to be sending up follow-up, sending out follow-up emails to your customers. And this tool's a great tool for that. It works really well. It's easy to set up. Uh, how I just said a little bit ago, I used to when I was using both Helium 10 and some Jungle Scout stuff, I had all my email campaigns set up through Jungle Scout. So I kind of left that there for a bit, but then I finally was just like, I, I need to use Helium 10 because Helium 10 does a better job and I just need to ditch Jungle Scout and take advantage of, you know, and save myself some money instead of paying for both, just really use the Helium 10 tools that I have. So um, that's, this, uh, that's another one I'd say is an essential tool is you need to be sending out emails and there are definitely plenty of other email providers that will do that for you. But uh, you know, if you're gonna get X-Ray, which you should, then you might as well just start using Helium 10 and grab the follow-up email tool and send out your emails using Helium 10 and keep it all in the same suite. 
it's just, it's really cool. They really have made it an all-in-one suite for beginner to expert sellers, and you can't. There's no um, free version of the follow-up. There's no a la carte version. So to get the follow-up uh, email tool, you'd need to buy the platinum plan, and that'll allow you to send out 5,000 emails. So if you're doing more than 5,000 sales a month, then you m probably need to jump up to what do they call it again? The diamond plan, and then if you're doing more than you know, 50,000 or more or whatever, then jump up to the elite plan. The next tool that's absolutely essential, and this will be the last tool that I say is absolutely essential, but there is one more that I, I think is helpful and close to essential maybe, but, and then the other ones, that's not to say you shouldn't use other ones after that, that's just saying like, I'm just wanting to cover the bare minimum what you should have in your toolbox for doing Amazon research and launching products. So the next essential one is Cerebro Reverse ASIN Lookup. Um, the free sign up will get you two uses per day. And then the a la carte is $37 a month. And what this tool does is it allows you to look at your competitors, grab their ASIN, which is, this is called the Reverse ASIN Lookup. So you can grab your competitors or any anybody's ASIN on Amazon, go throw it into this tool and it'll bring up a list of all the keywords and keyword phrases that that product is ranked for, what it's ranked for on that keyword phrases main page, and what's the search volume associated with that keyword phrase. And so what that helps you do in your research and when you're launching products is figuring out, okay, if I'm gonna launch this product, what keywords do I want to rank for? And you can look at your competitors to figure out which keywords they're ranked for and through which keywords are they making most of their sales. And so the way you do that is by looking at the search volume, the keywords with the highest search volume that they're ranked the highest for because that's most likely pretty much for sure that's where most of their sales are going to be coming from is the keyword with the most search volume that they're ranked the highest for. And you can just grab their ASIN, throw it into Cerebro and it will tell you exactly that. And then from there you can analyze, okay, how competitive is this keyword, this main keyword that they're getting their sales from? Can I go in and rank for that keyword and start to capture a bunch of those sales? And then you can also see if maybe the strategy is to rank for a smaller keywords list with lesser search volume, if those main keywords are too competitive, then maybe you can look at ranking for the smaller keywords, rank for those, get the sales through there, get some reviews through sending out your follow-up emails and build up your listing to the point where then it becomes easier to rank for the bigger keywords. Now, some other people will teach black box, this one here, as essential. I don't by any means. I think it's just a good way to get the ball rolling. Some people teach it like, put put the criteria in here inside black box and then boom, it'll spit at you products that are just perfect products to launch. It doesn't work like that at all. Anyone who says that is just kind of BSing you to be completely honest. But it is a great way to throw in some criteria, find, you know, pulls up some products that you can go look through and then go jump onto Amazon. And that's really where your research will start is because then you can start diving down deeper. But for me, black box is really helpful for getting the ball rolling. And that's a great thing because it's it's hard to kind of know where to start to do your research. Like if you go into the bestseller section and like so many people are already doing that. And so it's like, where do you actually just find that first product to start looking into? And I think black box is a good way to do that. Throw in a little bit of criteria, go through some pages of products that it pulls up, pull up a few of those products on Amazon. And then from there, you're into some niche odd products that you can start to dive deeper into and just continue your research versus trying to start from like the home page of Amazon or just clicking into a category or going to the bestseller section. Um, Black, Box, Black Box is good for just kind of helping you randomize where you start with your research and bringing in random products instead of just the traditional bestseller categories, all that sort of thing. And I have videos on breaking down how to use all of these tools. I have really good Helium 10 tutorials about Black Box, about Cerebro, about X-Ray, and I show you me actually doing just full length product research sessions, which I think is a good thing because a lot of videos are kind of just bogus videos when it comes to product research on YouTube because they're like, oh, I found this product in five minutes. It's like, maybe, but no, you didn't. Like, And don't teach people that you can find products and 
five minutes that will make them forty thousand dollars a month because that's not real like any anybody who actually launches products on amazon and sells successfully on amazon will tell you that they've sat there and looked through a bunch of products a bunch of data analyzing for hours and hours and weeks and months like there's no quick trick to here's the perfect product launch it now you've got a new lamborghini that's not a thing guys so definitely check out my helium 10 tutorials you'll find them really helpful i promise uh and then from here if you grab those helium 10 black box is 37 dollars cerebro's 37 i'm terrible at math in my head so i'm going to pull up the calculator 37 times 2 i know some you know you got most of you guys already know the answer 74 dollars already and then if you add x-ray which is 17 that's 91 dollars and that's only six dollars away from the platinum plan and then, like i said you really want to do follow-up like you need to be sending out those emails and so you might as well just spend the six dollars more get the platinum plan and then you have unlimited use basically of everything um i mean like keyword tracker up to 2500 keywords that's a ton of keywords um and 5,000 emails so if, again if you need to send out more emails maybe you want to jump up to diamond or elite but once you sign up for platinum you all the essential ones you have and you have them unlimited uh, except for email I, I, the follow-ups not unlimited but you do have 5,000 emails there and then you get all of the other tools which I haven't really gone into because I just wanted to cover the essential what you absolutely need to do the research and to launch products um, the rest of the stuff is is help definitely helpful but again not I just don't see them as essential refund genie is another really cool one that I didn't touch on which is ninety seven dollars all on its own if you buy a la carte so but that comes just completely included in the platinum plan and that one's really cool because Amazon messes up refunds sometimes and you don't really get the money for it or you get money taken away for it but refund genie uh, helps you get that money back it help just helps you make and hang on to more of your money than you would otherwise. Um, profits, profits. Uh, I should have mentioned. I mean, profits isn't essential because you can export reports and you can build Excel files and you can run those numbers and figure them out on your own. But profits is really amazing because it it says financial analytics dashboard and that's exactly what it is. It you plug in your products, you plug in your cost per unit, how much it costs shipping from your manufacturer, what your FBA fees are. And then as your advertising happens and your sales happen because you connect it into your uh, seller account it automatically brings up on a nice dashboard um, your profit margins your sales all of that and it'll also they'll also shoot you an email every day just to your email saying like how you perf how your how you did yesterday how much you made how much you lost if you lost money that sort of thing and that's seven and that's thirty seven dollars uh, a la carte so you just, there's just so much bang for your buck when you grab the the platinum plan so that's my recommendation um, like I said I I'll leave some links maybe I didn't say it already I don't know but I'll drop some links in the description of this video with discount codes which is another super cool thing that helium 10 offers they offer big discount codes when you buy a plan for the first time up to 50% off which is awesome. so instead of 97 you could be paying more like half that, which is pretty cool.